ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I am so in love with me. <laughs> it's amazing. Lord have mercy. Gentlemen and ladies, <laughs> ladies and gents, welcome, welcome, welcome to this Sunday morning program. And what we have for you is Al Green, and he wants to stay together. Now, you listen to the word, staying together. Now, that is genius, you know? How, how else can you stay if it ain't together? You can't stay by yourself. That don't make no sense. See, sense, since we've been, it don't make no sense. I'm so glad y'all keeping up. Hold on, Al. We're going to turn you down. You can keep loving anything you want, Al. That's what he needs, y'all. Okay, now he's going to let him do what he needs to do. Okay, he wants to be just the one. Ladies and gentlemen, I got something I need to show you. I need to tell you I was right. I was right. I was right. I was right. You all are doing your taxes wrong. You were wrong. You were wrong. You were wrong. But you should have listened to me years ago, all the way back into the early 90s, when I kept shouting and screaming this, because guess what? It made sense, and I didn't have to read no stupid code. Al Green, you mind if we talk about this? Oh, he says it doesn't matter whether it's good or bad, or you happy or sad. Well, thank you, Al Green. He told us we can go ahead and talk about this, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to keep this simple and short. Now, look, sometimes they're great videos and sometimes they're not. Under the IRC, what is the deduction, the definition for deduct, de what is the definition, deduction? What is the definition for deduction? What is the definition for deduction? No, don't read ahead. <laughs> what y'all doing? Uh-uh, hold on. Al Green, tell them what the definition is. We're going to call Bard Al Green for the moment. Hold on. While the Internal Revenue Code, IRC, doesn't provide a single, explicit definition for deduction, it's under... Wait a minute, what you talking about? What? It's just a word. How come they don't have a single definition for deduction? Why wouldn't they have a single definition for deduction? Why would there be more than one definition for deduction? I don't understand. It's just one word, so why are there many definitions? You all need to be asking the same question. Why are they telling you under this context deduction means this what that don't make no sense it's a word no it's a term no it's a word no it's a term it's called legal terminology so if anybody ever told you that the words that they use in court are just words they don't mean anything that jurisdiction doesn't mean what you think it means that appearing in court doesn't mean what you think it means that Offering or entering a plea in a courtroom doesn't mean what you think it means. Does represent, represent, and speaking on one's behalf mean the same thing? Uh, 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 not necessarily, because it's not explicit. You got to be explicit. So you got to start cursing and swearing and no, not that type of explicit you must. Look, ladies and gentlemen, let Al Green, talk to y'all again. One second. Come on, Al. Understood as an expense or expenditure that taxpayers can subtract from their gross income to arrive at their taxable income. Wait, hold on. You mean to tell me that I get to deduct all of my expenditures or expenses from my gross income, the total amount? Oh, say it isn't so. Lord have mercy. Then why am I told that I can only do it from my net income? Does anybody know that? Why does your tax people tell you that you have to deduct from your net income and not your gross income, that you have to do your expenses after you apply the taxes? Ooh, wait, that is one of the biggest lies ever told when it comes to taxes. Hold on, let's hit, let them talk some more. Now, I ain't read this, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't never, ever, ever prior to this day looked this junk up. It wasn't necessary. I already knew the answer. Why would I look up something I already know the answer to? No, the only time I look up the answer to questions is when I'm talking to people who don't know the answer. Okay, hold on. This means deductions reduce the amount of income subject to taxation, ultimately lowering a taxpayer's tax liability. Uh-oh. Deductions reduce the amount of income subject to taxation. It lowers a taxpayer's tax liability. It's a benefit. 
Oh, wait, wait, y'all, we going someplace. So y'all just sit right there and let's take this trip together. Why are you talking like that? That's not the way you normally talk. Actually, it is the way I normally talk because I've gotten my rest. And sometimes you need a little bit of rest in order to take care of happiness. So yes, I'm a happy man. I woke up this morning, stumbled out of bed. Oh, my baby works from nine to five. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I woke up this morning after having my five hours of sleep, six hours of sleep. That was six hours of sleep. And um, no, actually, I'm sorry. Let me explain. I slept from five to 12, five to, yeah, was it 12? Don't know. I forgot because <laughs> I've been getting some sleep lately. And then I stayed up for a couple hours and then went back to sleep. At 5.56 this morning, I was awakened by a vehicle with a loud engine outside. You know, one of those muffler type engines where he's got a exhaust leak. And he was just sitting outside my property. And they had an infrared jammer <laughs> trying to jam the cameras so that they couldn't see the vehicle because they were looking at the solar panels. My solar panels are on the ground. They're, they're bolted down. Well, they're, 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 they're bolted down as fine as I'm going to bolt them down. And they were studying how they're going to get them things because, you know, them solar panels weigh 50 pounds each. So how do you go? There are 17 of them. Mm -hmm. And they all screwed down. So many screws. It don't know what to do with them. Then there's a gate surrounding it. So they'd have to climb over the gate, but the gate don't have bars. So you climb on that gate, you're going to be stumbling and tripping and everything because the gate is designed to collapse the moment you run into it. So now you got to get past all of that. Now you got to carry it. Oh, wait, and they think they got a jammer. I have more than enough cameras on here that they'd have to be pointing them lasers in every direction to jam these cameras. I did that by design. That's right. You, you ain't going to do just one or two. Just on the front end, there's eight cameras. That I don't play that, yo. I don't play games with these mother... Okay. Anyway, that's what I woke up to. And when they saw somebody was awake, they just realized it. They decided to pull away. Shame on them coming to somebody's property, leaving their engine on, being that loud and thinking nobody was going to wake up. Plus, there are alarms that go off. Don't matter. I just, that's what I woke up to this morning. I wasn't concerned about those little idiots. That Those are crackheads. I know where they live and everything. No joke. I know where they live, y'all. Those are crackheads. They literally are crackheads. They live about two miles from me. Yep, I can see the lights of their house every single night. They are up all night long because that's what crackheads do. It's okay. It's all right to be a crackhead. Well, technically, they're not really crackheads. They're meth heads. Now, I don't mean to offend any of y'all, but that's what they is. I call it what it is. That's what it is. They meth heads. Police are always over there talking to the meth heads because the police got to get their little sniff, sniff, stump stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because the police do meth too. Do y'all don't believe it? The police do drugs too. Come on, say, tell them, tell the police officers, say no to drugs. That's why they be killing people and be trying to get out of it all the time. Sorry about that little segue. Let's get back to the tax deduction thing. Ladies and gentlemen, when you read the IRC, it tells you that you're supposed to, after you deduct the taxes from the net income, you then do your taxes. That is not true. You do your expenses first, then you do your taxable income. Now, let me show you. It establishes the concept of taxable income as gross income minus allowable deduction. Gross income minus your expenses. Specifies deductions allowed by this chapter other than standard deduction. Your expenses are standard deductions. Other than standard deductions means your living expenses. Ladies and gentlemen, the Constitution grants you the right. Uh-oh, sorry. The Constitution doesn't grant you the right to life. The Constitution protects your right to life. You have a right to life. So your cost of lifing or living, living is the, uh, what is it, plural form of life. You can't say life is this, 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 so you say living. Cost of life, 
That's what cost of living equates to. Go back and do your definition research, okay? It's all about definitions. <sighs> Various sections of the IRC, interest, taxes, charitable contribution, expenses for the production of income. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your labor does not produce income unless you receive a bonus. Say that again. Your labor does not generate and or produce income unless you receive a bonus. But you added more that time. Yes, because of ignorant people like you. I have to make sure I cover all the bases because sometimes you act like you don't understand. Okay. All right. So then you have this thing. Now, this is, <laughs> this is so unique. Itemized deductions and standard deductions. Look. Ladies and gentlemen, it says a fixed dollar amount that the taxpayer can claim without itemizing. So a standard deduction is not a fixed dollar amount. A standard deduction is your cost of living. That is a deduction. It's not itemized because you don't have to itemize your cost of living. You just document it as cost of living. Okay? Eligible and substantiation. Deductions must meet specific criteria defined in the IRC, but I didn't ask it that. I asked it for the definition. Taxpayers often need to provide documentation to support their deduction claim. No, they do not. You don't need to provide documentation as to your cost of living. You just need to provide, pay attention, a statement. Okay? Now, let me see if I can explain again. If you work, if you work for a living, Pay attention. If you work for a living, that's part of your right to life. There is no judge that can argue that. There is no court that can argue that. There is no congressional member that can argue that. That's why you have the right to life. That's why you work for a living. Too many Supreme Court cases where they support this conclusion. And we'll be back after these commercial messages. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you work for a living. Does that make sense? Didn't you just hear what I just said? I said it several times. If you work for a living, you can't be taxed on that. <laughs> okay. What? You're being paid back for your labor. That's an even exchange. Only if you receive a bonus, something extra, a tip, something extra, then they can tax you. See, just like you guys who work at restaurants, your tips are considered extra because you get paid a flat salary. So your tips are in addition to your salary. So that's the technicality for them paying attention, pay attention, charging you on your tips because that's the bonus in addition to antecedent, antecedent to your regular salary. Now, that you know that you can't be taxed on your salary, let's do a Google search real quick. Y'all don't mind? I don't mind. I got time. Y'all got time? Let's do, well, that's Mohit. We're going to do this. We're going to go, uh, I got to figure out the correct wording because what we're going to do, P-O-V-E-R-T-Y, poverty, Line for U.S. We need to know what the poverty line is. What what's the amount? Okay, now that's the threshold. I I I want to know. Okay, I gotta put the dollar sign because that ain't the poverty line. Uh, watch this for the U.S. comma dollar sign. One three, comma nine five zero, point zero zero. Let the if it thirteen thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Let the poverty guideline for families download online. This is a five y hyphen one dot org. Well, five y one dot org. I don't know who five y one dot org is. Who? But I do know I need to find out who they is because they got a lot of numbers here. I don't want a lot of numbers. I just want the numbers. Okay, this ain't this ain't this ain't gonna do it. This ain't gonna this ain't gonna do it. 
I, I shouldn't have clicked on the one for family anyway. I should have clicked on just what it is. Let's see. Definition of poverty. Nobody asked for definition of poverty. I apologize. Give me one second, y'all. I got to go to Google. I got to go to Google because this ain't going to work. Uh, Mohique is okay. P-O-V-E-R-T-Y. And watch this. G-O-O-G-L-E dot C-O-M forward slash The Guardian. Let's see. Author falls below federal poverty line. Well, look at that. Income for U.S. authors far fall below federal poverty line. Well, that's what you're looking for, the federal poverty line. I'm glad they said it and I didn't. I got to get to the Google window. Where is my Google? I don't want to look at the family garden. Family garden is a piece of junk. Uh, that you can't trust none of the junk they put in that stupid uh, junk that they got. I'm sorry. I was kidding. I, this ain't the family garden. This is the guardian. The Family Guardian is actually a very, very reputable website. If you haven't been there, visit the Family Guardian. But stay away from this piece of junk called the Guardian. Okay, they are worse than the New York Times. If you want to be misled, go to the Guardian. Sorry, it's a piece of junk. And, yeah, the Guardian is a piece of junk. And I'm saying that on this channel because that's what they are. I can prove it, and I ain't got no problem with it. If they got a problem, come meet me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It, it's the truth. It is a piece of junk newspaper. And that's why they won't be in business very much longer. Look, you know what? I cannot find the poverty line. Yo, I got to put y'all on pause. I got to go to Google straight at it. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, this is healthandhumanservices.gov, the health department. The health department publishes these guidelines every single year. I forgot that. I should have just gone there. And they're letting you know, ladies and gentlemen, as of 2023, it is not $13,950 for one person. It is $14,580. If you don't have, at the end of the year, after all expenses, $14,580 extra dollars in your bank account, then you fall below the poverty line. It's called poverty guidelines. That's why it's called the poverty lines, because of, they get rid of God, and there you go, poverty lines. So pay attention. If you don't make $14,580 extra dollars per year, then you fall below the poverty guidelines. Shame on you. Now that's for households. Per household, look at that. Family size of one, man, that's you'd have to have 32,000 for you to be 225% above it. <sighs> per month, ooh -wee, you'd have to make an extra $1,215 per month in order to be above the poverty line. An extra $1,200 a month, that means extra after all your bills are paid, you'd have to have extra in your bank account of $1,200 every single month. Shame on you. Now, hold on now. Once you do your taxes, it is anything over this amount that you pay taxes on. It is not anything below that amount. So anything above $14,580 is what you are taxed on because you can't be taxed at the poverty line. You can only be taxed above it because that's income, not according to the IRC. Pay attention, <clears throat> pay attention, <clears throat> pay attention, but according to the federal government. You see, anything below these lines, you're poverty, you're impoverished, you're on welfare. Okay, no, no, don't don't kid yourself. Don't think that welfare is a bad thing. You're not getting over on the system. It's just the way the facts are, ladies and gentlemen. So start doing your math correctly. Now, hold, hold, hold on. We got two videos to do. We got this one and the next one. The next one, we're going to talk to you about deductions and why we ask that complex question. Because tax laws are complex and subject to change. Sorry, no, they don't change. 
The definitions don't change. The definitions will remain the same. It's just definitions, y'all. All right. With that being said, I got to go. So y'all got to go. We'll be right back with another video. Bye-bye.